Today I fucked up by illegally downloading an album. Obligatory this happened a few years ago disclaimer. For context I had ordered an album but it wouldn't arrive for another 5 days so I thought it would be morally okay to download it online then delete it then rip it from the CD. I think nothing of it other than those ads that said you wouldn't steal a car piracy is bad blah blah. I also had more packages expected to arrive next morning. Next morning I receive a knock on the door and go to answer it, finding two police officers at my door. I start to panic so badly to the point my heart was drumming in my ears. Did my ISP snitch on me? Was piracy so serious they sent cops to warn you? I had never been so afraid of arrest in my life. I'm running through a dozen scenarios a second when the police state they were here to respond to a report about a vicious dog loose in the neighborhood. A neighbor had reported said dog and the police were telling people to keep any children at home because they're concerned it may bite them. They were here to catch it. So me being the idiot I am say oh thank god to the immense displeasure of the cops. I then spend the next few minutes lying about how my mum is a diabetic and that I was concerned she had gotten into an accident on the way to work. Too long didn't read, illegally downloaded an album, police show up, said thank god in response to dogs possibly biting kids. If the ISP tried to prosecute you likely wouldn't find it out for a few months. That said, I don't know if the ISP actively chases down people, or only responds to takedowns, complaints that they receive. Either way. You bought the album so as long as you can price that you are probably fine. No the ISP doesn't chase people down. They'll send you a few letters warning you and possibly throttle your service, but at the end of the day they are a business and suspending your account would be bad for business. You were a good kid if that was the most afraid of arrest you'd been. Ha ha. I think it's so funny seeing people this nervous to pirate something, not that that's bad but it's always just been second nature to me so it's surprising to me that not everyone does it. Like I can get pretty much any song movie game or software for free with no consequences. Sign me up. You were safe until you posted this, now all the undercover cops on reddit are on to you. What album did you illegally download? Considering they sent the police? Probably Metallica. Today I fucked up, pre-ordered Cyberpunk 2077, got a message it was sent, checked email repeatedly for the link to download. Went back to my order. It appears I f had up out of excitement, lol. So got my PC build finished and finally went ahead and pre-ordered Cyberpunk 2077. Been waiting for a while, and went to Amazon to download. It was sold out. Went to order on Steam then remembered there was a promo on GameStop for $20 of in-game credits if you ordered with them as long as you were a rewards member, which I was but it was literally about to expire that week. I immediately checked that it was PC and ordered. All good and even saved 20 bucks by buying through GameStop. Got an email yesterday that said my order was complete and went to my email and checked for the download link. Nothing. Clicked refresh a few times and decided to try back later as it probably wasn't going to be sent till 12 tenths. Today I woke up, checked my email and still nothing. Went to my order page and sure enough. I'm an idiot. I bought a hard copy of the game and it is shipping through slow mail with an estimated delivery date of 5 more days. This is a new computer build and even as a full tower it no longer has disk slots for CDS or DVD players. Probably because this is 2020 and not 1997. So since I don't even have a CD drive in my computer and not even a space for it. Now I need to buy an external drive that I will never use for anything but installing this game. All because I wanted to save a couple bucks on in-game credits. Well, have fun guys. I'll be on in a few days, lol. Too long didn't read, bought a hard copy of the game and not a digital download trying to save money, now I have to buy additional hardware to even play it. Not to mention waiting at least 5 more days to play regardless. Even if it is a hard copy you'll have a CD key for the download more than likely. That would be great. But I didn't see that listed. Odds are it's a cardboard disc and a game code. Oh I hope so. 
An Asus external disk drive is like $20. I bought one when I was going through my old CD collection and CD-ROMs of old pictures from early 2000s. Turns out it was also useful for my son because his online school sent his social studies textbook as a CD-ROM. If anything it's $20 and can be plugged into any USB or USB-C slot, comes with both ports, and used with your devices. Why not Steam, GOG, Epic, Games Potterly? Don't be surprised if what shows up is a hard copy for a console you don't even own. I have stream and use it for a lot of my games. It was what I was going to get. But then right before ordering I remembered the GameStop promo and switched over to them to save 20 bucks. Again, I effed up, lol. So here's the thing, you're getting a box with your game, code to redeem on GOG.com, GOG is Project CD store then you download the launcher, and redeem it there. If anything, you can download the launcher first. Today I fucked up for peeing with an erection and letting my building manager touch my pee. K, this happened a few years ago. One night I woke up in the middle of the night to pee. I don't remember what I was dreaming about but my penis was very hard. I didn't want to pee in the toilet as I knew that peeing while erected, it's really hard to aim and I didn't want to create any splash or anything. So my sleepy brain thought, hey. What if you pee in the shower? At that moment I felt like a genius. I was sleepy, I didn't have to aim anything, so I peed all over the bathtub and went to bed. Easy peasy. The following morning, while having breakfast with my wife, the manager of the building knocked in our door. I didn't know why, but my wife told me she called him to fix something in the shower. I said okay, cool. While my wife and the manager were in the bathroom, the coffee made me realized my today I fucked up. They are going to find my pee. At that time, I was under medication that made my pee extremely glowish yellow. It didn't look like pee at all. From the kitchen, I heard both of them wondering what was that and where it came from. I ran to the bathroom to do something. I really didn't have a plan, but I felt that I had to be there. When I've arrived, my manager was touching my pee with his finger and smelling it. The first thing that came out of my mouth was that that was some kind of oil that I use for my hair and I must have dropped a few drops of it. They thought it was true and that was the end of the story. The manager left and my wife told me to be more careful with my hair oil. I will take the secret to death. Too long didn't read, I peed in the bath. The next day my manager came to fix the bath and touched my pee thinking it was oil. Bro you got a rinse after peeing in the tub. Some quick thinking there saved this from being a different today I fucked up. Why wouldn't you at least wash the pee away afterwards? This is vile. I'd think it would still smell. Super gross though, hope he washed his hands after that. FR, how did they not notice that his hair oil reeks of piss? Vows to keep a secret to the grave tells the internet the secret. 